Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Quebec Sing. I am here again with you guys with very interesting video where I'm going to tell you about how to immigrate Canada on work permit and this is through LMIA process. So in this video, I'm going to talk about LMIA and this LMIA word in Canadian immigration is very prominent and popular and you might have already came across this word LMIA which is labor market impact assessment. So in this video, I'm going to talk about three, four things and I'm not going to make this video very long. So what I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about what is LMIA and why employer needs LMIA to hire foreign worker. And then number three, I'm going to talk about where you can go and find these LMIA approved jobs through these employers. And then I'm going to talk about few jobs which are exempt from LMIA. So let's begin this video and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and give me some credit for bringing this valuable information for you guys. So let's begin this video. What is LMIA? LMIA is a labor market impact assessment which is just a document which you needed to file the work permit and employer needed to hire someone outside of Canada. So I will not go into much deeper of LMIA because there are various category of LMIA. For example, like caregivers, they have a different LMIA and for high wage and low wage uh, worker, there is a different LMIA Then there is global talent LMIA. But you can find all these LMIA at one place and you're gonna find this later in this video. And now second thing is that why LMIA requires. So to hire anyone outside of Canada, any employer has to file LMIA to ESDC, which is Employment and Social Development Canada. And this is a government body which assess the application which is filed by any employer. And if they convince enough that any employer who filed this LMIA application is not able to find any worker inside Canada for that job or jobs, then this ESDC body approves the LMIA application, which is a positive LMIA. And if they decline the LMIA application, that is a negative LMIA. So once it get approved, then employer get this document and then that document has been transferred to you for application of the work permit. So now we're gonna go to the next point of this video where we're gonna find where we can find these LMIA approved jobs or the jobs which are exempt from the LMIA. So let's go to my system and please be with me for a few more minutes. That's going to be very fruitful for all of you guys who wants to immigrate here in Canada on work permit. So let's go to my system. So guys, to search for the LMIA approved jobs from the employer, you have to go to the web browser, any web browser, whatever you have. I'm here at Google and you have to type Job Bank Canada. And then you have to go to this link which says www.jobbank.gc.ca. So when you hit the link, you will be landing on this page and then you can directly start searching from here and you're putting location but i would suggest go for advanced search and then you can use one filter which is at the bottom of this page intended applicant so you can choose canadians and international candidate which means employer are accepting canadians and as well as international candidate who did not have a uh, approved work permit or who are not here in Canada so you can see you come at the top the result has been reduced so you can view the jobs where employers are accepting candidate outside Canada so if I hit this first job and I open in a different tab then you can see the Description of the job, job title, summary here, and then overview, responsibility. And when you come at the bottom of this page, 
you will see who can apply to this job. The employer accepts applicants from Canadian citizen and permanent or temporary resident of Canada, other candidate with or without a valid Canadian work permit. This means anybody outside of Canada can also apply for this job. So you will not see anything about LMI here because this job, as I believe, is exempt from LMIA. So employer do not need LMIA to hire someone outside of Canada for this job. So that's why this job do not require LMIA. So you can also apply for this job. And if you are trying to search for LMIA job, then you have to go back at the dashboard or search again. And then you can type, for example, you can type digital marketing. And I am using a Boolean search here. Sorry, my keyboard is in French right now, so I will make it English. So I was using a double inverted comma. So what happens when you use double inverted commas, the search gonna take these two keywords together for finding your search in this portal. And then I'm gonna use the AND operator and I will use LMIA keyword here. And when I hit the search here, then you can see, I can see the sixth result for this search here. And if you hit any of the result here, you're gonna see the LMIA option in these jobs. So let's see if I will go at the bottom of this job, which is digital marketing specialist at Extreme Media Incorporation. And I will open this job at another tab. Then you can see the summary of the job and the title and the company name and posted on December 7, 2022, which is not, you know, recent, but still it's a new job because if they might have found any consultant for this job, then you might have not seen this job here on the job portal. So now you can see LMIE option here. This employer has an approved labor market impact assessment to hire a foreign worker to fill labor or skill shortage on a temporary basis. So you can see this job has already LMIA approved. So here you go, employer can hire any foreign worker at any time because he has approved LMIA and this employer might be going um, for the interview process right now with various consultants. So please don't delay any application for any of the job if you are fit. So please go ahead if you see this green button here, green round circle here, that's when it is LMIA LMIA approved and then you can go at the bottom of the page and see what are the roles and responsibilities and what are the skills required for this job right so these are the two ways I gonna say you can use for searching uh, the jobs which are LMIA approved and the other one which I told you earlier which you can use the filter where candidates are welcome not only Canadian or permanent resident or the temporary worker here in Canada but also employers are accepting application uh, outside of Canada. So these are the two ways. The importance of Boolean search is that you can narrow down your search and you can search exactly what you are looking for. And don't forget, whatever you're looking for, you can, uh, don't forget to put AND operator in LMIA. There are other Boolean searches you can use. There are various operator, but I don't wanna go in deeper for boolean search but that that is you know another topic if you want i can make a video for that for now i think it's enough and let's go back to the video and meet you on the screen you guys are still waiting to end this video guys you know the information now where you can find the lmia approved jobs or the jobs which are exempt from lmia don't waste any more time hit this website jobbank.dc.ca and start searching for the jobs which are suitable for you and apply for it. So how to apply? It's very easy process at every job. When you hit on the link, jobs which are suitable for you, at the bottom of the job, you will see there is an email or link where you have to apply. Most of the time, there is an email available for the application. So don't forget to send your application on this email ID. And what you have to include, only three things which are 
very critical for your application. Number one is resume in a Canadian style. Number two is a very informative cover letter which should be aligned with the job. Number third is your LinkedIn ID because LinkedIn ID gives authenticity to your profile. So don't waste any more time. Go hit this website, start applying to the jobs which are suitable for you and get some job offer from these LMIA approved jobs from the employer and come visit Canada and meet with me. For now, I would say goodbye, be in shape. See you in next videos.